Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I kind of got, you know, I got to get this on my chest, but this is just going to be for me. So I'm really just talking to me because I'm the only one who's going to be watching this. Hi, Matt. Yeah. Fuck is sucked, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Wednesday night, I went out and made some videos that I posted on my Gilligan Matt page. You guys might have seen them. Maybe not. I don't know, but. Like my blind fairy crazy cover video, like that spot, and the spot where I did let loose of everything. Um, my grind mode cipher video, that spot, right? I was there Wednesday night, and like the enclosure around me, you guys can see, like it's probably like about 10 feet, 10 feet high, right. And I had all my stuff on the top. I thought I grabbed everything because when I was out there, it was like, like 2, 3 in the morning. Really. And I thought I grabbed everything, you know. So like, I went home, passed out, went to bed. I woke up Thursday, couldn't find my GoPro. Like, because I knew I had some good footage on that that I was recording Wednesday night when I went out. I couldn't find it. And I was like, I really looked everywhere. Like, I, I, have, a, I have two little, like, briefcase bags that I have all my camera equipment in to ease, like, to transport it easily, you know what I mean, keep it safe. I looked in those and didn't find nothing. So I was like, fuck it. Like, did I fucking really leave it out there? So, you know, Thursday night, I go around 8.30, between 8.30 and 9.30, somewhere around there. I went out there, and I was out there to shoot some more videos and find see if I left my GoPro. And then, like, as soon as, like, I get around, like, the corner to, like, to the middle parking lot behind the plaza, I saw like four or five cars in like 20 to 30, dude, like p kids, like young teenagers, like high school kids, like like 30 of them, like I'm not even lying, there was, a, there was a lot of them. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go back home. So I like, I turned around and went back home. It was like a suit, like all my way back home. And then when I got home, I was like, I had to have left it out there. Because that was the last spot I was with. That's, that's the last spot I was at filming with that camera. And that was the night before. So it's like, it has to be there because I didn't, like, I don't have it. And I went from right from that spot to my house. You know what I mean? So it's like, it has to be there because it ain't in my house. So, around 8.30, 9.30, somewhere in between that, whatever, I go out there after work. Or no, I didn't even work though, so I went out there. And as soon as you get around the corner, boom. I see cars, I see these people. And I'm like, at first I was like, whoa, 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 who the fuck's this? Because I, I've gone, I've, I've lived, I lived in Salem for almost seven years. And I go back there every night, every goddamn day for the last seven years. Every fucking day. Never once have I seen a gathering like that back there. Like, I've ran into couples that take a walk at night. Or I ran into a woman that does her exercise videos like she records herself doing exercise videos behind there. Um, I've seen people dump trash illegally. Like I've seen a woman take a shit. Yeah. Um, but never once I've, I ever seen a gathering like this. So it's like, all right, this is when it got serious. All right. So around this time, I was like, I called my buddy I work with. 
I might do this. There's a group of kids out here. You want to come fuck shit up? And him not knowing what really happened. So when I came around that corner for the first time and I saw these people, oh, they saw me. Oh, they clearly saw me. And I was wearing my mask. The one I was wearing in the grind mode cipher video. The white mask. Yeah. So it was like as soon as I saw them, I kind of just froze. And then like I lifted up the mask. And I'm like, you know, this is going to go bad either way. Because if I try to turn around and walk away, there's a good chance that they're going to follow me. Because it was, it was late. It was 9 o'clock at night. Well, not late, but like... It was 9 o'clock at night or something like that. So I'm like, I'd rather not them follow me. And, you know, if they attack me, they attack me from behind. I'd rather not. I'd rather go head on. So, you know what? I just started. I just continued walking straight towards them. And they were in the same fucking spot I was doing that video. You know, right in that video. Like, that same spot. That's where all that, all of they, they all were. So I just... I just you know, fuck it. My ma my mask is what up, was up, and I'm walking up to him. And as I got within like, like 20, 30 feet of him, obviously they were all staring at me. I'm like, "What's up, guys?" I was like, "Don't mind me." I was like, "I left some out here last night. I was uh, just just came to grab it, guys." And then that's when like I started walking by and like they literally like spread like Moses like and I walked down and there was like them on the side like split up whatever. Stupid of me. By myself. Like nine o'clock at night. Walking into literally a corner to where there's nowhere to run, but first I wouldn't run because I'm not a bitch. But I put myself in a situation where it's like I turn around. The only exit has about 30 people in front of it. And then was so like once I was like, yo, I left something out here last night, and I'm just trying to grab it and see if I left it here. People started laughing. And me? I get pretty aggravated when, like, I know I left something here, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, when I go to retrieve it, there's, like, a bunch of people, and they mock me like that. And so I was like, I was like, what the fuck's so funny? So, like, I think it was, like, two or three kids that started walking towards me. All the others were like, like stayed where they were. And so like they came out to me and they're like, what did you leave here? I'm like, I was like, I left my GoPro. I was like, yeah, I know I'm fucking stupid. Fucking left my GoPro. I was just, I don't know, just come and see if it was still here. And one of the three kids, that came up to me, started laughing. So I was like, what, what's the point? Let you guys find it. And then all three of them started looking at the ground right in front of me. Well, like, not in front of me, like, like I'm here and there's one, two, three, you know what I mean? And they're looking, one was looking on this side and the other two were looking on this side, right? So I'm like, what the fuck are you guys looking at? So I started looking around. And then I started seeing my piece. My pieces of my GoPro. Fun. I'm gonna grab the pieces. So this is what I was able to retrieve after what happened, like, I haven't gotten to what happened, like, the end, but after the end, I went back and I, like, I retrieved it. But this is what I got, right? It's my case to my GoPro. Yep. 
is that it's my battery to the GoPro. That was the case it was in. And that's the screen to my GoPro. Yep. So they smashed it. And when they told me this, when the three three kids fucking came up to me and told me this, I legit fucking got two of them down. And as soon as I got two of them down, everybody just... Yeah, I got jumped. I got my ass beat. Oh, fucking sucks because not only did they break my GoPro, they took my backpack. Like, a couple of the kids, like, took my backpack as the other ones were fucking beating my ass. Took my backpack, saw that I had my camcorder in it. You know, like, I had my GoPro in my camcorder. They didn't break my camcorder because one of the kids was like, dude, I'm going to keep, dude, this is going to be a good for our videos that we make, like, with a rap, making the little rap videos. Yeah, so they kept my fucking camcorder, which had my memory card in it, that had, God knows how many videos and footages of me going out cleaning up for my cleanup. Just every, like, um, all right, so they took that. My phone was in my backpack. They took my phone and smashed it. Smashed my GoPro. And then all the attachments, my charger batteries that I had, my extra memory cards, all my cables for my cameras, my tripod that cost $100, my gimbal. Fuck it for my phone. Like, and they just took it. So, long story short, like, I shouldn't have been out there. I shouldn't have gone by myself. And then when I saw those, that group of kids, at that time, I should have just left. But that was an expensive fucking GoPro. That I, it took, like, I don't have a lot of expensive things. I don't have money. I'm fucking living paycheck to paycheck. So that GoPro was like a million dollar diamond to me. Like, I don't, like I said, I don't have expensive shit. But my camera equipment is top notch. And, I, I just couldn't let it go. I can't let it go. So, if you fucking pieces of shit are watching this video, I will be out there every night, posted up, suited and fucking booted. And as soon as you guys show back up, out, out there it's fucking war I don't care if there's 20 of you I am gonna go at you like Rambo alright I'm gonna Rambo your ass cause you don't know who you fuck with like really like, I don't I'm a nice guy guys I'm a, nice guy. I'm a nice guy and for these fucking millennial Pieces of shit, teenagers. Do something like this. And think they fucking tough. Bro, there was like 20 of you and one of me. And you guys act tough. Alright. Well, bring those 20 fucking bitches back. And I'm going to bring just myself back. And I'm going to be fucking suited and booted. And I will pick you motherfuckers off. I will be I will be out there every night until you guys come back out there. Mark my fucking words. If you guys show your faces out there again, 
you're going to meet fucking Satan. You do not want to see what I will do to you. To a lot of people, that was just a camera. But to me, that's my fucking life. You took something from me. And now I'm going to take a lot more from you. So you fucking losers come back out there again. You're going to be met. With my friend. Stay tuned. Because I'm going to go out there right now. And I'm going to record all of this. Because what I do to you motherfuckers. Oh, I'm definitely recording it. It's going to be straight out of fucking Scarface what I do to you losers. Peace. Motherfuckers.